Today we bring you the part two of our review on Rumble, the Indians who rock the world. The documentary is often here in Washington and it showcases Native American Indians in the history of rock music. Here's VOA's Caroline Turner. Rumble, the Indians who rock the world takes a deep dive into America's violent past and the music that emerged as indigenous Indians and slaves shared their stories and music. For me, it was just a huge revelation that the banjo was an African instrument. The banjo, for the first hundred years of its existence, was not a white instrument you know, at all. It was a plantation instrument. <laughs> Seeing the Indians at carnival was getting to know who I was. That was the only time that black men could put on feathers. We are a combination of indigenous people and indigenous people of Africa. It was a Muscogee village through this area. Our music is called Stomp Dance, and what you hear first is the calling, a call and response, where the leader calls out, and then the men answer. When you hear that up against blues, rock, jazz, it's part of the origin. Everybody in the neighborhood, everybody has grown up on this. They've been doing this 150 years. Basically, they're Indians masking as black people in daily life. Because the Indians were treated even worse than the slaves. When the African polyrhythm meets the American Indian four on the floor, you had the birth of American music. African music is not one, two, three, four. It's a polyrhythmic music. Native American music and Native American singing, when you hear it, and you hear it in this film, it's gonna blow your mind. When the African party rhythms and the Native American flow on the floor came together, that was the beginning of what became American music. Rumble, the Indians who rocked the world, the untold story of Native American influence on American music, offers music buffs a backstage pass to revisit great iconic concerts from rock history. Carolyn Turner, VOA News.